Well, lads, what is the crack? And welcome to you. We have a Champions League 2024 25 round one predictions. And obviously, this season, lads, the Champions League is completely different with the new league phase format replacing the group stage format. And well, usually I would do my group stage predictions, however, um, I'm not going to do that this year, obviously. I'm not going to do a league phase prediction either, you know, because it means I have to go through every single game. And for me as well, like, it, and it's just not too accurate, in my opinion. So, as a replacement for the group stage predictions, lads, I will be, I will be predicting every single Champions League game from round one to round eight every single one lads is going to be quick pair predictions and when I do start as well lads I will also be doing the same thing for the Europa League and even the Europa Conference League as well lads because you know what why not so I'm excited for this video lads I hope you are I hope you are excited for some of these quick fire Champions League predictions of course but before we do get into it make sure you do subscribe if you haven't done so already as currently 80% of you who are watching this video still have not subscribed so if you are a new viewer and you are enjoying all my content make sure you do subscribe also make sure to like the video to really help and support the channel also make sure to click the bell so you never miss one of my latest uploads so then let's get into my champions league predictions for round one then and so we're going to be starting off at the Allianz Stadium. It is Juventus hosting PSV Eindhoven. And with PSV Eindhoven lads definitely are a side to be racking with and definitely are dark horses coming into this year's competition. And I mean Juventus of course back in the Champions League finally but look at their squad like it's completely unrecognisable mostly so I mean yeah I mean sure I don't know really know what to expect from Juventus here in this one but PSV Eindhoven you know they were unbelievable in the era of last season. They clearly have a fantastic squad all round. You know what lads it's the first prediction already however I'm going to already make a bit of a shock prediction here. I'm going to go 2-1 to PSV here in Turin. And now we head to the capital of Switzerland and Bern as young boys hosting Aston Villa from Birmingham. Aston Villa back in the Champions League which is going to be extremely interesting to see. And while of course you know it's been a decent start for Unai Emery's side whereas young boys of course in the domestic Swiss League are currently rock bottom after 6 games. 3 draws, 3 defeats, 0 wins so far. So you know what lads, it's young boys side. I know they've got some good Champions League experience however still they don't look, they don't look too great at the moment this season anyway so I'm going to go here lads for a massive 4-1 victory here to kickstart Aston Villa's campaign and if you're saying that is re unrealistic lads just remember Newcastle defeated PSG 4-1 last year in the Champions League and if they can do that against PSG I'm pretty sure lads Aston Villa can do that against young boys now on to the San Siro for arguably the most exciting game here in this opening round. It is AC Milan, the Rossioneri hosting Liverpool. Now this game, two sides who have amazing history in this competition coming head to head with each other. It is going to be a fantastic game. Liverpool of course looking to bounce back after a 1-0 defeat at home to Nottingham Forest their last time out. Not a great result whatsoever there. However still, they usually are quite good here in the Champions League. I do believe lads, this game is going to be a goal fest. Goals galore end to end action is going to be a fantastic game to watch here at the San Siro. But who's going to come out on top? I believe it's going to be... I believe, lads, Liverpool are too good here. They're better than the SC Milan anyway. And they're going to come out on top here. I'm going to go with a big 3-2 victory here for Liverpool away at the San Siro. As we head now to the Allianz Arena, it is Bayern Munich hosting Dinamo Zagreb. And while Dinamo Zagreb, I am sorry, but these are no match to Bayern Munich, who scored six uh, past Holton Kiel during the weekend there. So, I mean, yeah, th things seem to be going all right so far under Vincent Company. It's going to be an easy win here. I'm going to go for a thumping 4 0 victory for Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena in this one. And now over to the Santiago Bernabeu. We have got the current holders and the most successful team in this competition. It's Los Blancos. It's Real Madrid hosting VFB Stuttgart. And this is an extremely interesting game for me. Obviously, Real Madrid will be the favourites in this one. However, so far this season, they have looked quite un unconvincing as well. So, I mean, we've seen last season, at the start of last season, Real Madrid in the Champions League drew 0-0 at home to Union Berlin. This is a similar sort of scenario here in this one. Stuttgart are definitely not a bad side whatsoever either. And fair play to them to get back into the Champions League after many years away. So you know what, lads, here in this one, Real Madrid are going to be quite poor. The likes of Mbappe and Vinicius are not going to turn up whatsoever. I'm going to go here for a massive one-all draw here in this one at the Bernabeu. Controversial for sure. A massive point for Stuttgart, but a massive uh, sort of the fate almost. It's going to be a point gain here for Stuttgart and two points loss here in this one for Real Madrid, I do believe. But trust me, lads, Real Madrid are definitely not going to win this game in this one. Just you watch. 
And finishing off the Tuesday night games, then we've got Sporting Club de Portugal hosting Lille. Now, this game is another interesting one. Sporting, though, Sporting Club de Portugal have been fantastic so far this season. And Victor Guilherme is from Sweden. Eight goals and one assist in five games in the Premier League. He is the Swedish Hollander for sure. He's like the region as Latin Ibrahimovic does seem. And while I mean, Lille definitely haven't had a great start to the season whatsoever. This is going to be an easy result here for the Portuguese outfit, especially in home t- on, on home turf as well. It's going to be a very easy 2-0 victory here for me in Lisbon in this one. Now on to the Wednesday night fixtures, starting off in Italy with Bologna hosting Shakhtar Donetsk. Now another new team in Bologna, of course. It's going to be interesting to see how they too get on in the Champions League. Wherever so far this season, with the big players like Xerxes and Calafiori both leaving, they have struggled so far in Serie A. Shakhtar Donetsk, on the other hand, of course, I mean, maybe aren't the best at home on paper. However, still are a team who possess plenty of Champions League experience here in this one. And I know they're away from home as well. However, I do believe their experience is definitely going to shine through. Bologna is going to take them some time to adapt to the new format in the Champions League as well. I'm going to go here for a massive 2 0 victory away from home for the Ukrainian outfit. Off now to the Czech Republic next, we have Sparta Prague hosting Red Bull Salzburg. And while Salzburg obviously will be the favourites here in this one, a great team. We definitely should be winning games like this. However, Sparta Prague, you know, are at home their first time in the Champions League in 20 years, I do believe it is. I do believe the home atmosphere is going to be absolutely rocking and it's definitely going to be an extremely hostile one for the USA to play in. I do believe, lads, Sparta Prague definitely can't get something out of this game. And you know what, lads, I do believe they'll hold them to a draw here. It's going to be boring, however, it's going to be a massive draw here in this one for Sparta Prague I'm going to go for a goalless nil-nil draw here in the capital of the Czech Republic now off to the land of Scotland off to Glasgow it's the Parkhead Paradise it is Celtic hosting Slovan Bratislava and while Celtic of course are going to be the team I will be supporting during the Champions League this season of course with United being in the Europa League instead of the Champions League and I really want to see them do well and it's games like this where they have to win because I do believe lads Celtic definitely very easily can make it into the um, at least the playoffs I do believe um, in the Champions League this season and while Slovan Bratislava fair play to them for of course for making it this far into the competition however still I do believe here Celtic are a very very good side I like some of their new additions I like the Nicholas Kuhn from Germany is very good I'm a big fan obviously of Adam Eda. I mean maybe not too great for Ireland but still I do believe for Celtic he is fantastic and while of course Arnie Angle seems to have settled them quite well as well so he's of course going to be an exciting midfielder there in that one I do believe that Celtic I'm very confident they will get the win here in this one and it's going to be a fantastic 2-0 victory in my opinion for the Glasgow Celtic here in this one Heading off now to Belgium, we have got Club Rouge hosting Borussia Dortmund. And with Borussia Dortmund, of course, the finalists of last year. However, you definitely very well could say their side has been slightly weakened. However, then again, there still is quite a lot of good players in there. And while Garassi, of course, up top is a big addition there. Karim Adeyemi set a fantastic start of the season as well. They still do have a lot of brilliant attacking quality. Their defence still is very good here in this one as well. I have no doubt about it, lads. Dortmund should easily be winning this game here. I'm going to go for a massive 3-1 victory away from home in this one for Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund. And now this probably is on paper the biggest game of the match week. It is Manchester City hosting Inter Milan in a repeat of the 2023 Champions League final from Istanbul where City of course did defeat Inter Milan by one goal to nil. However this one is at the Etihad Stadium obviously and it's going to be extremely interesting to see what does go down here in this one because I mean Inter definitely aren't a side who you should be doubting whatsoever. They've got a fantastic defence. Jan Sommer arguably on, 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 his, uh, on, on form as well. The best keeper in the world. Yes that is right I did say that and I do stand by my statement there and while of course you know look up top as well like Taro Martinez a world class striker Marcus Thuram obviously also has a night for goal as well so this Inter Milan side definitely is very dangerous and so far in the Premier League this season we have seen Man City seem to tend to concede first at the Eddie Hall Stadium if they, concede, if they can concede first at home to the likes of Ipswich and Brentford then they definitely very well can concede first um, against the teams like Inter Milan of course so I'm going to say at half time it will be 1-0 to Inter Milan here at the Eddie Hall Stadium however City will do what they do best here in this one they're obviously going to come back unfortunately in this one Erling Haaland probably will be the man to save them I'm going to go for a smash and grab 2-1 victory here for Man City I won't be convincing here in this one but still the second half comeback will do it and they will just about see out the victory here at home too their um, they're arrivals then for the Champions League in 2023 and the big Italian Giants in turn in this one 
And finishing off Wednesday night then at the Parc de Prance, we have got PSG hosting Girona. I mean, I'm very excited to see Girona in this year's Champions League. Of course, their debut in the competition. I, mean, I do believe last um, they do have a very, very good side there on paper. It's a fantastic side anyway. As I'm recording currently, they're losing 4 now at home to Barcelona, but we won't talk about that though. However, PSG, you know, in spite of as despite Mbappe leaving, of course, they seem to be doing better than ever. Players such as Bradley Barcola, Usman Dembele, and Joao uh, Neves have been fantastic. So far this season in Liga and PSG are still scoring goals left, right, and centre here in this one. While Girona is too much of an ask, in my opinion, here in this one, away from home, especially as well. It's going to be an extremely easy and comfortable 2 0 victory here in this one for Luis Enriquez, PSG side. Now, moving on to Thursday night, yes, lads, Champions League is on Thursday night now, so there's no more advantage of teams in the Champions League who don't have to play on Thursday night anymore, but it is what it is, though. We start off Thursday night then in Rotterdam. It is Feyenoord hosting Bayer Leverkusen. Well, Bayer Leverkusen have lost the game. They lost to RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga a couple of weeks ago, but still they have a fantastic side. And with Feyenoord, of course, um, they're an all right side, but I mean, still, without Arnie Slot now, uh, things mightn't have started too great for them. But yes, lads, basically what I'm trying to say here in this one is Leverkusen definitely are the better side here in paper, and I would expect them to win this one. I'm going to say here, Leverkusen will come away from home after the creep stadium and it will be a massive 2 0 victory, in my opinion, for Xabi Alonso's Leverkusen outfit. As we head now to Serbia, we have got Red Star Belgrade hosting Benfica. Two sides who definitely have got, once again, some big history in this competition here. And while Red Star, of course, have won every single league title in the Serbian Premier League since 2017, I do believe. So, if we're, of course, complaining the city winning four in a row, could you imagine they won seven in a row? I mean, we definitely very well are going down that pathway unless the 115 charges are proven. But anyway, like, I mean, Red Star, although they are dominating in their own domestic league, they fail to really replicate that into the Champions League here. Well, I've been thinking maybe aren't the best teams around. I still probably would expect them to get the job done here. It's going to be a smash and grab. 1-0 victory here, in my opinion, for the OS side in Benfica here in Belgrade. Now off to Bergamo, we have got the Europa League champions in Atalanta hosting the Gunners in Arsenal. And while this game is massive here, Gunners, of course, you know, this is in between a massive, massive stage of their season already. They've just managed to narrowly defeat Tottenham, 1-0 there in the North London Derby. And this is sandwiched in between that game as well as a big trip to the Etihad then the following week to take on Manchester City. So, I mean, it's definitely is a cramp period here for Arsenal. And I do believe that it definitely will be, um, maybe, I guess you said, prioritising them two games over this game now of course this game is a massive priority for Marteta's men to get off the Champions League and a winning way but of course you know I really like the Atlanta side as well I mean they've got some fantastic fans I do believe the atmosphere is going to be rocking as well at the Jiva Stadium I do believe it is pronounced and Rataki as well of course the new striker in he's going to be fantastic here in this one as well Adam Ola Lukman quite obviously so yes lads in this one I'm going to go here for another shock result here in this one I do believe Atlanta have a massive win in them I'm going to say 2-1 to Atlanta here in this one. Arsenal will start off their Champions League campaign with the fades and it's going to be a massive three points here in this one for the side from Bergamo. Now we head off to the Wanda Metropolitano. We have got Atletico Madrid hosting Red Bull Leipzig. Now once again here, lads, this game definitely isn't the two guaranteed. Of course, many people will be saying Atletico Madrid definitely should win this game. And looking at their side, of course, they do have some fantastic players in there. Like so Antoine Griezmann when going forward and as well as him. Julian Alvarez still yet to score a goal though, but still he definitely can be a dangerous player. But RB Leipzig, lads, are a team to watch out for. I'm telling you now, they could also be dark horses this year. They have some fantastic players there. They have some Amazing football as well. I'm going to say here, lads, another shock results. It's going to be a fantastic game of football and to end stuff here. But I'm going to go for a massive 3 2 victory here for RB Leipzig, as it'll be a massive setback already in the Champions League for Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. Sada Brestois v Sturm Graz then next in France, of course, in the north of France, I do believe it is. Um, don't think many people will be watching this game if I'm going to be honest here in this one two sides making their debut in the Champions League I do believe so it'll be interesting to see who will get off to the good start and get a win here in this one but you know what lads I do believe Brest are the better side of the two I'm going to go here for a narrow 1-0 win here for the home side in this one and finishing off then with AS Monaco hosting Barcelona and as I said earlier of course Barcelona currently 4-0 up away against Girona as of recording they have been fantastic so far under Hansi Flick scoring goes left right and centre they have an unbelievable 
attack, an unbelievable side overall. And all of a sudden, lads, it definitely could be emerging as possible and one of the favourites to win the whole thing this year. It definitely isn't, it, you definitely can't count them out at all because they look to be in fantastic form. The likes of Lamine Yamal, Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha as well are players to watch out for this season. Against Monaco here, lads, it definitely should be winning this one quite easily, in my opinion. I'm going to go here for a massive and very comfortable 3 0 victory for the OS side here in this one in Barcelona. I know well ended is quick fire Champions League predictions everybody I hope you did enjoy it remember to like share subscribe and turn on, turn on notifications thank you all for supporting the channel once again I really appreciate it and I'll see you all once again in KDFG very very soon